Welcome to be here and welcome to part two of our special episodes that are highlighting a road trip across the east coast of the United States. We set off on our trip from Virginia and crossed a couple of other states including West Virginia. And we kept on going until we reached our destination state, the great state of Pennsylvania. So we're at our first stop on this part of the road tour and we're in a town called Newtown, Pennsylvania, which is really close to Philadelphia. And we decided to go for a nice bike ride in a wonderful state park simply known as Tyler State Park. Tyler State Park consists of 1,711 acres in Bucks County. Neshaminy Creek flows right through the middle of the park, dividing it into several sections. This beautiful creek really makes for a peaceful atmosphere and a lovely place. Once we hit the bike trails, we really got to enjoy the beauty of this park while feeling the wind in our hair. This place is really beautiful, but a couple things you gotta keep in mind. Get a map of the trail because there's a lot of different trails, and if you're gonna ride a bike around here, there's a lot of hills, so be prepared because they will quite literally take your breath away. But we'll make it, it'll be a lot of fun. Well, Isabel's riding dangerously, no hands. Riding free. Isabel knows how to be here. Oh look, there's that creek again. What a lovely place. So much better riding a bike downhill. So much of this beautiful area is surrounded by farmlands. And riding through this amazing bridge really creates an awesome visual. There's really nothing like riding a bike through a state park. So we're in a different area of the park where there's a lot of playgrounds, there's a lot of picnic areas, nice places for families to come and spend some quality time together. Right in front of us is a really nice bridge and uh, people can swim in the water and have a good time. Let's check it out. This truly is a great spot to escape the summer heat by going for a swim or enjoying the shade. But me personally, I wanted to get a better view of this bridge and admire how peacefully the creek flows beneath it. Tyler State Park truly is a wonderful place to visit. But now we're hitting the road to check out a lovely nearby town. New Hope, Pennsylvania. This town was established in 1837 and is known for its unique shopping, riverside restaurants, and cultural attractions. And when I say unique shopping, I really mean unique shopping. Has anyone ever heard of a wine slushie before? I haven't. Looking for a new dress? Well, this place has got you covered. Now, in case you need to figure out where is where in this town and what they got, there is an app that will help you navigate this place and find all kinds of goodies. Goodies such as Nina's waffles and ice cream, Fran's Pub Pizzeria, and you gotta check out a show at Bucks County Playhouse. Now, here's some goodies. Chocolate is cheaper than therapy and you don't need an appointment. True. Well, this looks interesting. Let's check this place out. Love Saves the Day is one of those shops that has a little bit of everything inside, including Elvis Monopoly? Apparently this is the Elvis section. Oh man. From Kiss action figures to classic music records, they have it all. But wait, New Hope has more to offer. Like a lovely waterfall, absolutely stunning as well as fun things to do by the river. So this is just such a beautiful walkway. You got the river over here, you got New Jersey on that side. It's just such a beautiful environment. There's ducks that you can feed, all these stores and restaurants that you can check out. This is just a really fun place to come, spend a day. I'm told it's really cool to come at night. Lots of activities and uh, definitely want to check it out. I really can't say enough about this lovely little town. Now the people of Pennsylvania have this cannon handy just in case the people over there in New Jersey get out of hand. You know, neighbors can quarrel from time to time. Speaking of which, let's cross the bridge and go to New Jersey. When crossing this bridge, you can't help but admire the lovely view of the Delaware River all the way to New Jersey. Welcome to Lambertville, New Jersey, the lovely town across from New Hope. Founded in 1705, Lambertville and its charming streets are lined with well-preserved federal townhouses, Victorian homes, and all kinds of unique shops and restaurants. You could spend all day shopping around in this place. And no matter what you're looking for, there is no shortage of lovely things to see in this town. I guarantee that. But I'm getting hungry. That looks like a nice place. 
Let's see what this place has to eat. Inspired by American, Italian, and Spanish cuisine, Under the Moon is a great spot to get a delicious bite to eat. So we just got our food over here. I got myself a uh, barbecue cheeseburger over here with some Parmesan fries. Baby, what do you got over here? I got a veggie panini with some fries as well. And Isabel's cousin, he is a copycat. He got the same thing I did. Look at him hiding behind the umbrella. <laughs> I still see you. Well, we're gonna enjoy this wonderful meal and we're going to be here. Now that we've had our meal, let's get a closer look at the Delaware River and the beautiful bridge that connects these two great towns together. Check out all those turtles just sunbathing down there. All those turtles need are some ninja swords and some pizza and they're all good. I cannot get enough of this view. And in the center of the bridge is the state line between New Jersey and Pennsylvania. Now this is pretty interesting because right now I'm in New Jersey. Right now I'm in Pennsylvania. Jersey, Pennsylvania. Jersey, Pennsylvania. Now that I'm in the middle, I don't know where I am. Lambertville and New Hope are great, but let's head over to our next road trip adventure. So we just arrived over in Yardley, Pennsylvania, and we're gonna have a wonderful and relaxing and fun day of doing absolutely nothing but lounging on a lazy river. And don't forget about the rules of the river before you go. So we just reached the point of the river that we're gonna launch all of our tubes out. Everybody's working back there. I'm gonna help them out momentarily. But uh, this is gonna be an amazing trip. This is gonna be an amazing adventure and we're gonna have a good time. And most importantly, we're gonna be here. These awesome inflatable tubes belong to Isabel's cousins and boy, are they a nice ride. So we're getting on the river right now and we're gonna have a wonderful excursion of lazy river rafting, baby. On the Delaware. And when you go on this river, always remember to, to be, be here. here. No better way to enjoy a lovely day than floating on a relaxing river. So we're rolling, rolling, rolling on the river. I absolutely loved rolling down this river. This is so luxurious. I feel like a king, king of the river. And we weren't the only ones enjoying this wonderful river. The hot sun and the cold water makes for a nice combination. And speaking of cold water, did I mention that someone has a squirt gun? Victory shot! Now I told you it's a little bit cold. I'm gonna test that. Woo! Yeah, yeah, that's cold. Woo! <laughs> Ice bucket challenge, eat your heart out, man. Jeez. Whether you're tubing or jet skiing, this river is truly a great place to spend your day. So right over there on the bank is the uh, Washington Crossing Museum where they have a whole lot of information about uh, when George Washington and his men crossed the Delaware. So right now we're floating in the same water that was one of the first major victories for the colonists back in the Revolutionary War and when George Washington turned the tide. So a lot of historical significance around here. A lot of great history in a great area. Look how strong our guide is over here. The powerhouse that is Tom. Toot the horn like you're a tugboat. Every tugboat has to have a little toot toot. Uh-oh, the water's getting rougher. We're about to hit some rapids. This'll be fun. You ready, baby? No. No? <laughs> no. Uh-oh. We're not ready. Here we go. Oh my God. He lost his hat. Chris, you lost your hat. Hey, we got the hat. We saved the hat, hallelujah. All right, we're gonna make a stop on this little island here and enjoy ourselves. And there's plenty of enjoyment on this little island, once we got settled anyway. And did I mention that I'm really good at skipping stones? And this was hands down the best skip I've ever had. Nice. I'm not sure who was better at skipping on the water, the stones or these crazy jet skiers. As this great experience was winding down, we had just one more thing we had to do. Test out the echo under this big bridge. So when you're on the river with a bunch of knuckleheads, always remember to be here. 